Essie Adibi loved to play the big stage. Why not? He did it so well. He had that talent of explaining the most complex problem in economics to a lay person who knows absolutely nothing about it, and he will come out understanding the basics of that issue without making that person feel, you know, stupid or ignorant about it. And that was, very few can do that. Now, what kind of a recovery is this? Anemic. Adibi started his nearly 40-year run co-presenting Chapman's economic forecast as Jim Doty's student. As its chief architect, Adibi used his own economic students. Many people on this campus feel the loss of Essie Adibi very personally, myself included. We shot a show together, the Chapman Business Report, for 15 years. He was my chief commentator, co-host, over 300 episodes, and many of them shot in front of this global citizens plaza. I would show up, always late, and as you would be standing here with a smile. And when I left two hours later, I always felt better than when I had arrived. Was always fast with the joke. Uh, he taught me how to lighten up a little bit in the office. He had a wonderful spirit. Uh, he made people smile no matter what the situation was. He was never seen as angry or upset or having a bad day. You can make the case that Essie Adibi is one of the most important people in the more than 150 years of Chapman University. He's been flying all over the, the country and in some cases the world delivering the forecast, you know, and uh, just because of the quality of the work that he did, it, it made him such a national figure. Essie Adibi is survived by his wife, Gila, his daughter, Roxanne, his son, Kia, and his much wider family that stretched from the campus of Chapman University, really around the world. So many of us will miss this great gentleman. Pete Weitzner, Chapman News.